Chaz Burks here with Go Guitar Live and today I'm going to show you a couple blues turnarounds that you can use to sort of spice up your playing. Okay, so if you uh, don't know what a turnaround is, it's part of a 12 bar blues. So if we just break down just real quick what a 12 bar blues is, is you know this is the most common kind of um, blues you've ever heard, you, you know, it's part of rock as well and country and everything else, um, but what it is, is let's say we're sticking in the key of A, I could play open strings if you want, it's easier, so I'm just going to stick, I'm going to do four measures of A, um, and I'm just going to do them really fast so we can get through them, uh, what's going to, what you're going to see on the screen is four measures of A, two measures of D, two measures of A, uh, and now here comes the turnaround, E, D, and that's a measure each, E, two, three, four, D, two, three, four, and then A, two, three, four, and then you can go back to an E or just stay on the A, it, um, it just depends on uh, what the band is doing that you're playing with, or if you want to, whatever, you do whatever you want, if you're a solo musician, do whatever you want, so, one, two, three, four, two, three, four, Three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four, three, four, two, 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 three, four. Okay, and then just repeats over and over. Now you can do that with seventh chords. And I have a couple videos that kind of spiced up a little bit. But you know, think about this one, you're a rock and roll. Okay, so, and so on. Um, you can use all these different forms, but they all kind of follow the same pattern. Uh, four, two, two, one, one, um, four, and that's the amount of measures for each chord. So, when we got to that E, this is our turnaround. Down to our D, and then we're gonna go back to our A. So, what I'm going to go over is the turnaround, and uh, I got, there's a couple videos online that you can get tons of good turnarounds from. Um, I've kind of taken a few of these that I really liked and made them my own and started doing different uh, shapes that I, I think sound good and kind of feel good to my fingers. Um, so, we're going to stick with A again, the bar chord of A up here on the 5th fret. Um, Okay, and uh, what you're going to do is, let's go over how you do it, and then I'll show you when to do it. That's the, they're both of them are extremely important. Probably when to do it is the most important. You can't really do this just throughout a blues. You have to know exactly when to hit this. Um, otherwise, otherwise, it's just going to sound really uh, out of place. Um, anyway, so let's move on. We're going to come here, we're going to do, it's basically a 7th chord, just like that, pretty easy actually. And if you ever made a D chord, it's basically just like that, that same shape, so these three fingers, uh, but we're going to do it up here on the 5th and 6th fret, and we're going to play, um, starting on the B string, we're going to use our middle finger. We're going to use our ring finger on the G string, so we're going to go 5, next one 6, next one is uh, 5 again. So you have this kind of D, D shape up on the 2nd, uh, 3rd, and 4th strings. And we're going to strum that, and uh, we're just going to walk it down, and we're just going to do really basic. Half step down, same shape, half step down. And then we're going to do an A chord. And I, I just, you can do it however, you, however way you want to. If you want to do all three, or just one finger. So. And so that's the walk down. Now the timing of it's more. Now the next part is going to walk up from, this is a D note, on 5 on A, 5, 5th uh, string on the, 5th uh, uh, fret on the A string, 
you're just going to lock it up chromatic. Five, six, seven, same string. Now this one we're going to do a D. We're going to do an E7. And so what that means is we're going to put our uh, middle finger on the seventh on the A string, seventh fret, and then we're going to go to a uh, sixth fret on the D string with our first finger, and with our ring finger we're going to go seventh fret on the G string. So. You could uh, alternatively do that the whole way up. And if you see how I'm stopping, and listen to that timing, that's really important. It's not, it's, you hear that hesitation? So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it from the top, and we're gonna, I'm gonna talk about the timing too, which is really important. Otherwise, you won't be able to get it. Maybe you can't, I don't know. Okay, so what that is, is, now here's the turnaround. So we're gonna go E, or let's do it down here. E, two, three, four, D, two, three, four, A. Okay, so I'm gonna hit my looper and I'm gonna do the same thing. but you get the idea and you can either pick with your fingers or with your pick I'm going down down up every time and then just a good strum okay now if you want to do it with your fingers you can Alright, now the next one is basically the same thing, but we're just going to go backwards. We're going to start here on the A, and so we're going to go... Okay. the timing of this this is the other really important thing is that it's not right it's not see how much of a hesitation I had to have just to get there you're gonna wait so it's gonna be like one da da one and so the and after one so dun, dun, three four two three four so you're gonna walk up, so you're gonna Okay, so you have to wait until play that one on the A and then you can play it. And then you'll find it a lot easier in that rhythm. Okay, so practice that as much as you can until you get it. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to hit up my website and uh, I got an email there. Also, I've got um, starting some more lessons on there that you won't find on uh, on YouTube. So, uh, hope to see you again. Thanks.